Okay, this is the PS4. It's my Fatal Fury theme. Um, I wanted to do a quick video to talk about how you can run King of Fighters 98 on your PS4 in a widescreen format. Uh, I've been asked this a couple times in the time that I've been posting KOF 98 videos, so I thought I'd just make a quick video to show what I know about this. Now, there's a port of the PS2 game, which is this right here, King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match, that has an enhanced version of the game, Ultimate Match, and a Neo Geo mode, as it is called, where you can play the old uh, Neo Geo version from the home console. Uh, this is a PS2 port, and it's a pretty straightforward port. It does not offer any additional uh, well, that's that's not exactly true, but it doesn't allow, it doesn't have any options for screen stretching or widening or anything. So the game just runs in the old 4-3 aspect ratio, the sort of more square aspect ratio. It, it will not fill up a widescreen. It'll have black bars on the sides in, in both the Ultimate Match mode and the Neo Geo mode. So, uh, as far as I know, there's no way to run 98 Ultimate Match widescreen on your PS4. Uh, possibly your television or monitor or whatever may have some function that allows it to stretch uh, the, the image, but that's, that's up to your television or whatever. Um, now, if you do want to run... KOF 98 in a widescreen mode and you are okay with just playing the Neo Geo version, not the enhanced Ultimate Match version. Uh, you might be interested in AC the ACA Neo Geo The King of Fighters 98 which is on PS4. Uh, it, it is a, a modern game it's not you know from an old console except Neo Geo I suppose but so it does support uh, wide screens and things like that and it will let you manipulate the screen to to uh, take up more of the pixels on your widescreen display uh, so let's check this out I've reset the game to its default settings As you can see, that the menus are already running in widescreen, and you have to push the uh, start button here or the option button, as it is properly called, I suppose. All right, and then insert coin. I don't remember what the default mapping is. And start. And I just want to start the game so we can get to a familiar view of the fighters. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Okay, mirror match, that's great. All right, so you hit the touchpad to bring up the options menu. We'll check out display settings. First of all, I can't stand the default filter, which blurs the darn thing. Uh, you can turn on scan lines, and I mean, here's some scan lines if you want. But uh, what I do is move it from the default position one to the left, and that just turns it off. So it's nice and sharp pixels. Uh, what we're concerned about here, though, is widening the screen. Now, you can see uh, the edges of the screen are already kind of cut off. Uh, if you hit this, it expands a little bit. So you can see more of the character portraits in the upper corners there. And you can see more of the background. Now, this is showing, this is technically, supposedly showing parts of the screen that would would have been sort of blocked by the sides of your television on an old CRT TV. Uh, so like if you were playing this game on the actual Neo Geo console at home, you would not have seen these parts of the screen as sort of overscan or something like that. Um, some, of, some games that I have played in the ACA Neo Geo uh, catalog do have distracting graphical glitches in these edge areas. I think one of them was KOF 96. 
Um, I think 98 was okay, but it's been a while, so I could be wrong. But anyway, we're going to leave that on. That gets us a little wider screen, but not nearly close enough to the edges of the screen. Now, uh, at the edges of the screen are actually... How can I get this to show up? You see there's kind of that gray diagonal in the upper right, the far upper right, and then there's a bit of a gray diagonal line in the lower left in the sidebars. That's actually a wallpaper. Uh, that's what it calls a wallpaper. So we just turn that off and sort of clear things up. So now it's just black bars. Um, okay, so now we're actually ready to, to get this closer to a 16.9 widescreen format. Go into size of the display, and I'm just going to move my D-pad or my arcade stick to the right. And that is just stretching it out horizontally. And that's as far as it goes. It doesn't quite get to the edges, but uh, it gets pretty close. Uh, you could also stretch it by moving up and down. You could stretch it uh, up and down if you wanted to, but I don't want to <laughs> because uh, it's already at the full height of my screen. So there you go. That That is as close to widescreen as uh, we can get here as far as I know, but it's pretty darn close. And, um, yeah, yeah. And then you can go ahead and play. I have no idea what the buttons are at right now, so I can't really play this. I also, personally, widescreen... Setting old 4.3 games into 16.9 widescreen is really not my thing. I prefer to stick with the original aspect ratio, but some people like to maximize their uh, pixels on their TV. So, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do that here in the ACA Neo Geo version. So that, that was just a quick little demo of that. Um, that is the ACA Neo Geo version. If you want a nearly widescreen KOF 98 on PS4, uh, that's how to do that. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope that answered uh, the question for you.